Howdy, howdy. Come by. Good girl. Here we are on the Wood River Trail, enjoying another nice day on the snow. You can see the pups enjoying it. This trail goes uh, down the valley on an old railroad bed, I presume. From Ketchum down to Haley or Bellevue, perhaps. It's a great resource right through residential neighborhoods. People just can get out and bike or walk or whatever in the summer and then ski in the winter. The local Park and Recreation District grooms it. We don't have enough snow in Bend, of course, to do this, but it's just an illustration of some great recreation opportunities. I will note, of course, that this trail is entirely friendly to dog skiers, as you can see. Even though it's a high-use trail that goes right through communities. So it shows that you can have dog-friendly recreation in all sorts of different situations. All the snowshoe trails here allow dogs. Eleven of the ski trails allow dogs. Together, that represents 100 kilometers or 60 miles. So in Sun Valley, they have 30 times the distance of ski trails relative to what we have at the Vinoga Trail in Central Oregon. Something for us to aspire to. And it just goes to show that a community can really value its citizens with dogs and provide quality recreation opportunities. Here it's not just the miles of trails, it's really an underlying attitude. The tourist information brochure that they send out right in the beginning says we've got great winter recreation and that includes lots of dog friendly trails. So they know that dog friendly is good for the tourism industry as well as for residents. The local Forest Service off understands that too. Sawtooth National Forest went in there yesterday asking where I as a citizen with a dog could recreate on my national forest and they were enthusiastic about pointing out different places to go. Asked about my dog, told him she's a lab mutt of some sort. He got excited observing how much labs enjoy the snow. That's a totally different experience than we get in Central Oregon. And it just really made me feel welcome on my public lands. We look forward to the day when citizens with dogs go into their local Deschutes National Forest office and the Deschutes staffers welcome them with open arms and allow great recreation opportunities on the forest. That's what we're working towards the dog pack. If you support that idea, support our efforts. And get out, enjoy your public lands.